with beer. Hello, podcast kittens. It's Kathy Cat and Paul Lady <laughs> Bean coming at you with another ridiculous episode of Get <laughs> with <laughs> Beer. Yes, welcome again. We have the incredible <laughs> guest. To end all guests in the history of guests today. <laughs> Hello, guest. Hi, I'm guest. I'm Kashuya. <laughs> Wonderful wow. to have you here at School Cat with Beard. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Good. Please you introduce yourself, young lady. Uh, thank you. Uh, what an energy. <laughs> okay. uh, my name is Kaho Shibuya, as you introduced me as. Um, I. I think I'm a content creator because <laughs> I do make a lot of different content. Um, People, a lot of people find me on YouTube these days. However, I don't have a YouTube channel. I just guess on a lot of different YouTube channels. Oh, oh really? Guess? Yeah, no, I'm not a YouTuber <laughs> because I'm not <laughs> entitled to say I'm a YouTuber because like, I don't know my own content there. But a lot of people find me on YouTube. So, <laughs> oh, so there. you don't have your own channel, but no. people are still guesting on, for, on yeah. different channels. Somehow, like, I'm a regular on a lot of channels. <laughs> Maybe YouTuber is the next career for you now. Then. Um, oh, I'm most familiar with your Twitter, where you seem to have about oh. 9 billion followers. So. <laughs> I am most familiar with yeah. your Twitch because oh, I've been lurking you. in some of your Twitch streams really as well. I appreciate it. Come, come say hi in the chat sometime. Okay, I will do. I'll oh, do. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So awesome. here we are. So you are e- mm. everywhere. I know. Yeah, everywhere. I don't know how to describe myself, but hopefully one day I'll be just known as Kaho Shibuya and don't have to explain anything. <laughs> can, can you do like a beatbox beat? Mm-hmm. Bunt, bunt, Creator, honey song DJ, singer, published author. Yes! That was amazing! Oh, hell yeah! So, okay, Carl right. Shibuya, excellent. Lovely to have you so, here, young lady. Thank mm-hmm. you for coming. Yes, mm-hmm. tell us about your career path. Hmm, it's been long. <laughs> I don't really like to share my age with, especially in Japan. It's don't like, share your yeah. age. Yeah. Age is even sexy and kind of behind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm eternally five years <laughs> old. Don't worry about it. I understand. Forever 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, where, where does it start? Where are you going? Cosplay mm. conventions, radio shows, yes. singles, books, tell us. I actually started like, once I graduated from college. I went into a newspaper company. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> and so I worked journalist? as a reporter. Yeah. So, Oh, I didn't realize you did that. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I had an internship at Yomiuri. Yomiuri Shimbun. Yomiuri! Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the real bit, thing. Yeah, oh, okay, like, okay. I saw maybe the atmosphere doesn't really fit me because they're all so like, oh, we're going to change the world as media kind of way. And I was like more more casual. <laughs> so, <Were you> really? <laughs> so, yeah, eventually I went into uh, Tokyo Sport, which is way more casual. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like a sports journalism, but it's more gossipy. And I thought like, I could just get into a lot of different things. And, but um, after a few years, I quit because I wanted to be more like – I wanted to be more on my own mm-hmm. and have my own car and things. So, yeah, and I also taught English or just some um, translation thing here and there while trying to figure out my next step. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you were you were teaching yourself English? You've never been, I, by that point in time, you haven't been abroad? No. Um, yeah, just school in Japan. Oh, wow. wow. I thought you... Like in your youth, you partly grew up in America or something. I know my no one of my family members. No them. one remembers what. I know no one uh, speaks English. So. No one oh, speaks really? English. No one. They love going no to. No one remembers where you grew <laughs> up. They should just show up one day. Yeah. Yeah. But confused. they love going to Hawaii because it's more convenient for Japanese tourists. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So you, yeah. your English is pretty much self-taught at this point. Ah uh, yes. Wow. Pretty amazing, yeah. man. Good yeah, English. I can't self-teach myself how to bloody fold my underwear and you are know, <laughs> busting out perfect English. That's amazing. So Thank journalism you. was the starting point. Mm-hmm. And yeah. how did you get to all the other cool things you're doing? You know, the reason why I started journalism is just I'm curious about a lot of things, different things. So I was like, I thought if I work at media, then I'll be able to catch everything. Mm. Um, but I ended up just doing baseball. And <laughs> I didn't know anything about baseball. Like nothing. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know what short was because like, short doesn't sound like first base, second base. So I was like, "Where is short? Like, what are they doing?" <laughs> like, that was I don't short. know what short <laughs> is either. Your player is just very short. Well, we play cricket in my country. I don't know what's going on at all. Uh-huh. If it's not football, we Germans don't know about oh, it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay, so hang on. You knew nothing about baseball. You yeah, because baseball I grew up in a girls-only school, so we didn't have baseball crab. Okay. Mm. So okay. We didn't even have softball crab, so. I didn't know any rules about 
I'm, I'm not of sports. I can see now why you quit. <laughs> I can and, see now why you quit. They put you in baseball, or you yeah. said I'll do baseball. No, I never said that. They uh, said baseball is. Like, you are supposed to appreciate that you got baseball because it's oh, the it's sport so in Japan, right? It's the most popular sport in Japan, basically. Mm. So they they were like, you should be happy about it. I don't know anything about this job. Oh, man, you had to learn fast. Yeah, I felt so bad about it. <laughs> so wow. moving on from there, yeah. tell us how you got to where you are now. Oh, yes. So I started a lot of things. And, well, I had like a different past, like a different careers, and I just wanted to continue moving on. And I always loved manga and anime. And I wanted to have a way of somehow just getting involved in the culture and industry. And now I go to so many cons, mainly in the United States, mm -hmm. and do some signings and autograph and help the convention um, and get more energized, I guess. <laughs> All right, bringing the energy to bring the convention. The energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. <laughs> so cosplay, when did you start cosplaying? Cosplaying, that happened when I became an actress mm -hmm. uh, in JV industry. And uh, that was my first time to do like full makeup and like a full outfit. And I was like, okay, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. like, uh, once you become a tyrant, I guess you constantly have to take your selfies and photos, right? It's just like for your work. But I always just end up having the same kind of makeup and same kind of hairstyle. So I kind of got tired of looking at myself in the mirror. Oh, <laughs> so, oh <laughs> so I'm right? breaking. <laughs> Holy moly, okay. Well, I think we got to like, I, change things up from yeah, time to time. I end up yeah. having changes, so... I was like, oh, cosplay is actually great. Like, I look totally Aww. different. Mm. And I love this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, I've seen it on your Instagram. You got, like, a customized darling in the Franks uniform. That was ridiculously expensive. <laughs> <It> looks <laughs> ridiculously awesome, right? though. Yeah. Like, wow, custom yeah. made, that thing. It, it, You know, that kind of pluck mm. suit kind of style, like yeah. a full body but, suit. But, but, but. Amazing. There's no zipper. Uh, on a crutch so oh you, if you want to you know, go do your business in the bathroom then oh, you just have really to get have naked. to take the whole thing <laughs> off Holy and that moly. is a lot of work so well, it, but it looks people amazing don't realize that about cosplay yeah. people don't realize <laughs> what a how much you're enduring to get the photos taken yes. um have do you have you cosplayed at comic market uh, oh, Comic-K. Oh, huh. yeah. I have help at Comic-K, but never cosplay at Comic-K oh, okay. because yeah. it's a little bit pain in the back to the cosplay at Japanese event because you have to get into this cosplay room nice. and just, just change there. Mm -hmm. uh, the rules but, are crazy. Yeah, for those that. who don't know, mm -hmm. at a Japanese cosplay event, mainly Comic Market or Comic Cat, yes. so what you have to do if you're a cosplayer is you have to arrive super early in the morning mm -hmm. at like 5 a.m. and it's yes. miles away from everyone's yes. house. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to get up at like 2 in the morning yeah. to get there. They have to line up for like six hours and mm -hmm. then you get put in a room with all the other cosplayers yes. and that's where you have to change into your cosplay mm. and you're not allowed to wear your cosplay to the event. You cannot no. travel oh, no. in And costume. you only end up having your own mirror, which is like this size, yeah. right? And yeah. you're going to just see yourself in like a huge mirror and it's just such... <laughs> but also, for hard. someone like yourself, because you're there with everyone who is mm. doing their first ever cosplay mm. and then you are a famous person. So for mm. everyone else in the room... Mm. You walk in, they go, there's Kaho Shibuya. <laughs> and now and everyone's to... getting changed together, you know? Is, are they, uh, is, like, is that like one big room where everyone gets changed together? One big room, So no yes. privacy there no either. No privacy. Oh, man. Yep, you just yep, have yep. to see everybody's, like, everything. <laughs> All yep. right. Um, so so hold on, no, I'm doing, uh, there's, there's a lot of questions I would ask mm. about that. But, but you also do radio shows. Oh, uh, yeah. Writing columns. So what, mm. what, what is currently the thing that you do? Currently, I want to focus on streaming mm -hmm. because I love it there. Mm. It's just fans are so supportive there, and I get to play any games where I get to talk about anything. So there is so much freedom. Uh, I started Twitch. I started streaming on Twitch in the middle of COVID uh, because uh. I couldn't see them. You know? mm. I couldn't go to cons, so that was the main reason. So maybe if I get so busy going to con, then maybe I have to, you know share my focus with other things. Mm. I mean, you could always just, you know, take, mm. try and stream from your phone. Oh, I, stream from my I have phone. been, I have go been to the trying on I will stream that. too, you know, got outside stream. So yeah, yeah. Like I that kind of like, I, I know you got to, I think, Ajira. Mm. I, I saw oh, on your Instagram, oh, yeah, 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 you got like the cool <laughs> streamer set yes, up, yes, yes. the Gaijira yeah. streamer set up and just went with that one around. There are so many tech issues, but it's fun. It's not easy to do IRL streams, but you're doing that too. So you're kind of taking people around Japan or just playing games and stuff like that. Yeah. You are now a published author as well. Yes, I published a book in Japan. 
and it's being republished like each year. So oh, okay, so it's yeah. quite popular. People are reading okay. it a Very lot. Very impressive, okay. man. People are asking author. for the English version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you got the English version coming? Ah, uh, yes, we are oh, working wow. on it. You're working mm-hmm. on it. Right oh, great. Now. Okay, so it will be actually translated into English as well. Yes, hopefully Ooh. within this year. Within this year. Mm. Okay, guys, that's you, another thing. You're probably going to promote it on your Twitch as oh, well. Oh, yes, right? definitely. Mm. With your English, you did the, the TOEIC, yeah? Uh, oh, yes, I did. You nailed class. that, yeah? <laughs> I, I did at the time. So amazing, man. I'm so <laughs> impressed. Holy hell. Oh. Right. Um, so what you, what, it, what? currently it's mainly streaming. Mm-hmm. And if you can, you go to conventions abroad. Uh, yeah, um, I've, been, I've been to three conventions this year and two upcoming. So five and <laughs> really. cool. what, what are the upcoming ones? Uh, TwitchCon and um, mm-hmm. GamerSub, this company, uh, gaming drink company, is inviting me uh, for the booth. And one more is in Seattle, which is North Fest, Idol Fest. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll be doing some anti song DJing and probably singing too. <laughs> awesome. You yeah. DJ as well. You're anti song DJ. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, I don't know how you did that. Okay. Really. <laughs> anti song DJing yes, as well. That's a so lot of fun. different things to do yes. then. So what, say, you what's your many current things. skill set apart from awesome English, streaming, no, no. IRL, gaming, anti song mm. DJing? <laughs> you got your own songs as well? Uh, yes, because ever since I did stream then no you have to care about copyright issues and i was like oh why don't i just make my own songs and just stream Good <laughs> oh yeah okay. Wow. okay so mm-hmm. you got like three songs now you uh three songs yes Are and gonna we're gonna uh, yes record i think three more songs this year Oh my gosh! You sound like you uh, this, and this all was sparked mm-hmm. just from a love of anime. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're like you're like a, or a manga you're, too. <laughs> you're like a character entrepreneur. <laughs> you just do, yeah. do everything you possibly can. That's do amazing. Things. So what I find interesting, you started cosplay mm-hmm. uh, uh, in JAV. Mm-hmm. Um, so you did you different characters. You started mm-hmm. liking it. What made you decide to quit? Oh, the industry. Mm-hmm. I was like, I've done everything. Mm-hmm. Like I got. I think I have tried everything, <laughs> and I, was, I didn't think of anything else to do at the point. And I was like, okay, I just just I should just move on. Mm-hmm. How long did you do that? In I uh, three and a half years. Mm-hmm. It was less than four years in total. There mm-hmm. seems to be like so much curiosity for life in you. Like I want to mm-hmm. know things. Yeah. I want to like experience mm-hmm. things, and then you're like, okay, done that. Been there, done that. Next <laughs> thing. Next thing. <laughs> Move That's on pretty to much it. New. Yes. Yeah. But well, manga and anime, they it's always been there. Like, mm. I never quit. I mean, like, I think I tried to quit at some point because it was so uncool at the time. Was it really? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Now, when was this? This was several mm. years ago or something. It was uncool? Uncool. When I was, like, in middle school, like, they started, I think when you join middle school and then you kind of have to identify yourself as otaku or uh, normal people. <laughs> At the oh, time, I maybe see. it wasn't yeah. popular, but apparently right now, mm. everyone is like watching Tokyo yeah. Revengers. <coughs> people seem to love it now. Mm. Ah. And I think I kind of try to hide it in courage and also in companies, like when I was working at a company. Mm. And, I, and there was a lot of dudes. Like, there were a lot of older men, like mm. men in 40s and 50s. And I didn't want them to label me as like otaku girl. <laughs> really? <laughs> because, you know, but, we know okay. manga anime that much. What is the reason then that you decided to mm. f- to have your audience abroad? Like, where mm. did you realize, actually, mm. I want to not just stay in Japan. Mm. I want to reach people all around the world. What made you make mm. that choice? I realized, like, uh, there were a lot of fans overseas um, already in my past industry. And then... Uh, I didn't think they were going to follow me after I started wearing more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty fair enough. Right? I, was like, I think they already all, always like, see me kind of like sexy you know, mm-hmm. girl. So if I stop being sexy or if I don't you know, show myself as sexy enough, then they wouldn't follow me. However, at Anime Expo, like I went to Anime Expo when I was retiring. And then there were so many fans and they were just waiting for me and they were just accepting me. So... Mm-hmm. Oh. There was no criticism. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's right. lovely. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, the true fans actually were like, hey, we follow you, whatever you're yeah. doing. Even on Twitch, like whenever somebody tried to like, spam and like, try to say some not so nice comment because mm-hmm. of my path and my mod, like moderator is just like shoot away. <laughs> mm. Good. Yeah, I think it's, it's in your Twitch rules as well, like no harassment yeah. and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, so you have really like bad. now a really actually like supportive community. Yes, they're very like highly supportive. Um, um, can I ask what uh, what kind of 
demographic profile do mm. most of your fans feel? Are they old people, young people? What's the situation? They're getting younger and younger, probably say, because Twitch, of yeah. yeah, YouTube especially. Yeah, right. yeah of course. Mm. Right. It used to be older and more male, and now it's like more girls and younger. That's everybody. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm one of your viewers. I'm oh, lurking. <laughs> I would imagine that for young girls, mm. you would seem like quite an empowering female Very, role yeah. model. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a conclusion to that. I'm just that's oh, wow. how I perceive things. Could be wrong. I feel. What do you reckon? Free. No yeah, I mean, like you, you have like a past, but it mm. like it doesn't define you. You've mm. moved on from mm. it, and you now, you know, writing books about it to yeah. help other girls. Mm. Like literally, your book. Um, I don't want to get the title wrong. Can uh, yeah, thank you. Everything yeah, girls <laughs> should know about the JIV industry. Mm. So you're actually passing on your message, right? Yes. So that's 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 quite empowering. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> what did you study at college? Uh international communication. Oh like wow. A, like an inter um, yeah, what was that? <laughs> that was a long time ago. As in, like, the technology of the communication? Uh, no, so. not really. More just, like, just communication, like, more talking about it or uh, different cultures. Really? Yeah. Wow, so you studied a quite an academic mm -hmm. major then. It's very mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and, then, and then you said, Anime! And you went <laughs> Anime! Into that. I mean, I guess you've kind of achieved uh -huh. quite a lot of cultural bridge building mm -hmm. via all uh -huh. your um, anime and cosplay stuff. Anyway, mm. I guess those things kind of click together. And when I looked uh, today at your Twitch, there is this cute character in a maid dress. Is that your new VTubing model? Are you working on oh. that? Oh, right. The model, I think actually I have my own VTuber model. Oh, okay. Yeah. But before that, I did work as, I did just the voice of the VTuber, and that was just for work. Mm -hmm. And that's how I kind of figured out all the technical things about VTuber. So I just made my own thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I might be like graduating that, the made thing, uh, eventually. Oh, class. right. And then you have just a model that looks like you? Yes. <laughs> oh, awesome. Right. That's awesome, That's interesting. Man. That's super interesting. Yeah. So what else are you working on right now? Oh, what else? Mm -hmm want to focus on more cons, but at the same time, I've been doing some collaboration with Gamers After Game Dream, mm -hmm. and I've been inviting some animators. Actually, my new collaboration has been designed by character designer for Bleach, uh, wow. Masashi Kudo. Wow. Okay, what <laughs> yeah, is that? He drew what? me, and then it's on the cup, and it's on the Tumbra, and oh. yeah, it's on the flavor cup. Wow, um, man. So you have your own merch. That's the real yeah, thing. Right? I get to the, it used to just craft just as me, but I've been tr trying to expand the collaboration and invite some mangaka or animator because I think that I might have an edge over like other talent because mm -hmm. usually there are huge influencers, but it's mostly just about them. Mm -hmm. But here, because I live here and I have some connection with Japanese creators, maybe I get to like, bring them in. So. Mm -hmm. Very so, impressive. Yes. Yeah, that was wow. Very impressive. Mm. Well, what is, what is, tell me about, tell me about what does Ka, what does Kaho Shibuya do mm. when you're off the clock? What do you do ah. for kicks? What do you do to relax? <laughs> Same thing, like read manga. And oh, really? Manga. This is your whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Just, like, it's, it's not a mask, so, ladies and it's gentlemen. Just, it's just, not it's so easy. <laughs> the passion is there. What you see is yeah. what you get. Really? Okay. Yeah. What is like the cosplay you love doing the most recently? Um, that's tough. I've been trying to do the One Piece cosplay more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that works. That I, works. Right? I have, mm. think I've done two characters at least, mm -hmm. but I want to do more. No. Oh. At least three more. <laughs> so you got to go through all the characters from One Piece? Yeah, uh, almost all the female characters. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't wait to yeah. see that. That's going to be on your Instagram? Mm. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, I'm streaming as well on Twitch, so I can am. you give some advice for for streamers oh. on Twitch? What, what helps? What's great? Hmm. I think streaming because it's like sharing the same moment. Mm -hmm. So it's not the same as other like YouTubers, uh, YouTubing work because you can edit things. But I think just connection with your chat is mm -hmm. the most you know, important thing. But yeah. like, there's a lot of people watching. Sometimes you chat is like, and they ask it so many different things. Like, what's your favorite anime? And like, you know, what are you doing today? Or like, how is the weather in Tokyo? And mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's tough, but just try to connect with each and one of them, I guess. 
All right. So do you, mm. you spice it a lot? What, what kind of do you like tune it up and say, on mm. this day we do this, on that day we play a game, on that day uh, we go it's outside? It's just all on a whim. <laughs> all right. It's all on a whim. Yeah, it's all whim. I'm too whimsical. And sometimes like a guy, I'm just in PJ and I'm not wearing makeup. So I'm just using my beach avatar today. So. Oh. It works. Oh. Hmm. This VTuber thing sounds like a good option. Hmm. It sounds like I mean, you, you just roll out of bed, you can just do it. You don't have to faff <laughs> uh, we, around. We, we had Case on who said she wasn't even wearing anything, so. <laughs> I'm sick of this hair and makeup. Wow. I am going to become VTuber Ladybeard. I'm sick of putting all this effort into my appearance. I've had enough. Don't need to go to the gym anymore. Just get nice and fat. Well, it's a VTuber, oh. it's fine. You're totally 21. <laughs> all good. Exactly. Exactly. There's a lot of an advantages to Yeah, so why did you actually decide to do V2Me? Um, well, Is it because you, you just don't want to wear makeup sometimes? Because <laughs> I, I would totally understand. <laughs> uh, that too, what I've always been fascinated by 2D stuff, mm. <laughs> when I, manga and anime characters. So I was like, I want to have my own like, cute character. Yeah. Mm. Mm. How does one go about becoming a VTuber, getting mm. your avatar done? Uh, you um, have Illustrator to have that illustration of the 2D model okay. and then find animator for rigging like a rigging oh, wow. and <sighs> it can cost uh, I don't know 1500 bucks at least at least I mean, depending on right. how details you, like, or what kind of requests you have uh, rigging Rigging, yes, uh, rigging you is are about saying movement. some bloody IT <laughs> person went to <laughs> MIT no, 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 no. study words. Uh, rigging rigging words like, so word. yeah. you want to explain? Uh, no, actually, I cannot. Okay, <laughs> rigging is what brings the character to life. Otherwise, you just have yeah. a character that's like does this, yeah. and, and the eyes blink at different mm -hmm. intervals, and it doesn't look natural. The better a person is at mm -hmm. rigging, it means it makes the character yes. move naturally, mm -hmm. kind of fluid. It looks realistic. Yes. If she's smiling, the character is mm -hmm. smiling. So it's kind of like bringing the life, breathing the life into the illustration. It's like exactly. a motion capture technician type uh, thing? Yes, kind but of like explaining mm -hmm. if, if this kind of movement will trigger this kind of movement mm -hmm. of the character right. mm -hmm. kind of thing. But then are you? how are you actually doing this? Do you have the motion capture balls uh, on your If you're going to have or? 3D avatar, then it's better to do that. If you really? have 2D avatar and just what I do is just simple instructions like, if I do this, and the character is going to smile or oh. different facial oh. expressions, right? So, you're so you have like signals. Like yeah, face like signals. Signs. Yeah. Oh, right. So oh, what, wow. what are you capturing it with? Is it like a uh, VTube Studio? It's an app called VTube uh. Studio, and that's available on Steam too. Mm -hmm. And that's how every almost everybody does 2D avatar rigging. A 3D avatar is sound more much and more complex and more expensive. Mm -hmm. But eventually, like, that would be fun because that if you're wearing some kind of motion capture suit, then uh, it can trigger any movement. While you're, if you're scratching your nose, then you're scratching your nose. So yeah, Is that going to be your goal? You want to uh, get there? I kind of want to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. It sounds very interesting. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, so at the room. moment, you're doing digital puppetry, essentially. Mm -hmm. that, I didn't realize that was the case with this VTubing. It depends yeah. on which, which software you use, mm -hmm. which kind of capture thing you right. use, that kind of stuff. This, we are living we in the future. We were talking Ladybeard into becoming oh, yeah? a VTuber. I yeah, am going to become great. a VTuber. I mean, like, Ladybeard is getting more and more interested in it. Which <laughs> Ladybeard is getting like, more and more excited about VTuber. Shiori! <laughs> VTubing! That's the next thing! Yay. Got a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Excellent. Go. Good. It's, it's on uh, like Donkey Kong. There's one thing, though, like what I do when mm. I VTube. I don't VTube as me, but mm. as a different character. Mm. Because sometimes you have fans who don't want you to VTube. Right. Wait, you VTube as well? Yes. Sometimes Everybody's bloody <laughs> VTubing! I'm the last person on this wagon! Right. <laughs> like, Please continue. I have like this little bot on my channel mm. which greets people when they comment, which is in the shape of a cat. And sometimes mm. that bot comes to life, becomes a cute Japanese girl oh, person, wow. and takes over the stream when I'm, for example, happen to be sleeping at the same time. <laughs> so, if, for example, if I have a day where I really yeah. don't want to be on camera, mm. it's, it's fantastic to just have a different character take over the stream. I like oh. to also like act and hop into different characters mm. so that character comes out and streams for me instead. You leave the stream on while you go to sleep. Uh, yeah, you know, toads. <laughs> toads. But, you know, I, I use that character to replace mm. me when I don't want to be having my face on camera. Mm. And it, it helps if you like acting and you love, love right. acting. And I think you made character. Mm -hmm. Was that also, like, some kind of acting you would put in? Uh, so I have this, my feature avatar, but... Um, I'm actually thinking about buying off the maid character too mm -hmm. because that came from my idea. Mm -hmm. But the company I was working with was doing a little bit very like 
R and T staff, <laughs> kind of adult staff. So I was oh. like, oh, I don't really want to do that anymore. I don't want to focus on doing that.、Mm-hmm. So I'm actually thinking about buying off the character and maybe use it more in my way.、Mm-hmm. So, so like kind of taking it out of that、yes. context <laughs> and just having it as an extra、yeah. character for、so、your stream too. So you're gonna have yourself plus、yeah. the main character. I think.、Uh, do you think it, it could be possible、yeah. to have like two different characters? Oh, totally, totally. I、okay. do that all the time、oh, in wow, my streams.、Cool. I have six characters on、oh, my、wow. streams. Oh wow, six characters! <laughs> yeah, really? I have six characters. Like Monday, character. this character of Tuesday. It's not all VTubers. It's sometimes、uh-huh. just me acting as a different person.、Oh. There's like a demon personality. There's like、oh, a, a clumsy artist.、Cool. There's like I have different characters. I have like a、um, American schoolgirl、mm. who talks、uh, the whole time like an American schoolgirl cliche <laughs> does, a kind of like a valley girl kind of accent、oh. and stuff. So it it. Helps me keep the stream exciting,、right. a little bit pop, pop it up, and just do random things because、mm. I feel like doing them.、Nice. So you can definitely have two characters. Do they all if have, have six, different names? Definitely get two. Do they have all different? They、names? all have different names. They、oh, all、wow. have different hair. They all have different like personalities. As well.、oh, You're like、cool. that film Split. You're like that film Split <laughs> in the form of a VTuber.、Uh, no, it's not all VTubers as well. It's just me acting different characters, just for the sake of it. Sometimes I think、mm. what people love is always something new, right?、Mm. You want to bring something new. And、yeah. sometimes I just feel like you know what I have a career in acting. Why、well, mm. just use that、mm. and be a different character、mm-hmm. on camera today? It will throw people off, really break expectations, and it <laughs> just gets you into a different mood. So definitely, if you have、nice. two YouTubers, you can have as many as you want. You、mm. just need to make clear to people when they come into、right. the stream what's going on.、Mm. Why、idea. am I giving advice? You're supposed to give <laughs> me advice. <laughs> Hold on. How much?、Mm. How many minutes do we have left? Three. All right,、minutes. we better wrap this bad boy up. Carl, should we tell、Shibuya. the people about、mm-hmm. where you are on the internet and how they can find you there? Okay, I have Twitter account and Instagram account, both as Shibukaho S H I B U K H O, and my Twitch channel is Shibuya Underbar Kaho. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right,、okay, cool. and Lady Beard. You can go to the internet. <laughs> you can find Lady Beard by typing in Lady Beard underscore Japan, and don't forget my group Baby Beard underscore Japan are coming to anime conventions near you very soon.、Mm, Kathy Cat. <laughs> you can find me as Kathy Cat underbar TV, both with a C. With the C, not a K. With the C, Kathy、mm-hmm. Cat Underbar TV. You can find me on the Twitch, the Twitter, and also the YouTube. If you type in Kathy Cat, you're bound to find me on when many, many of the channels that are out there, especially、mm-hmm. as Japanese, and also NHK World Japan Rebel Journal is、mm-hmm. a program that I am also very glad to host. And、uh, also, if you love this podcast, please vote it with、uh, all the stars that you can vote it with. And don't forget, we have a Twitter now as well to spread the love. You will know when if you're hearing this right now on the podcast, you'll know when the YouTube version comes out, so you can actually see wonderful Shibuya Kaho、mm-hmm. sitting right next to us. So it's, it's, it's、oh, the visuals will be there as well, and you can also still send us emails to nippon at joqr dot net. But yeah, check us out YouTube, and thank you so much for watching this podcast. You remembered the email that time. That was good. I was <laughs> waiting I to spot you. I was ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. Now we'll have we'll have Kaho again back on our yes, next episode. Yes, next round we're gonna have、so、you again. Come back because there's more to discuss. <laughs> we'll see you again very soon. We're going to ship you on. Can can you messed it up? <laughs> <laughs> give me. You count us in.、Oh. Give us a three, two, okay, one. Do you want to do cat with beard? Plus we go <laughs> cat like, with beard. beard. Do you want to do it all okay, together? Okay, okay. See okay. you on the next episode of Cat, cat with, with Beard. beard! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <sighs>